Good morning, guys, and a happy Wednesday to you. I hope you guys are having just a great week so far. This week, I was working through my inbox, and I realized I get a lot of junk mail. It probably happens when I put in my email at shops or, or something like that. I used to actually have a junk email account that I never even checked to use for those kind of things. And then one day, I got an email on my actual inbox saying that other account was jammed full, they couldn't sustain it anymore, and they dumped all my messages. It was like a win-win. It was the best day ever. I didn't have to see all the junk mail coming in on a regular basis, and then I didn't even have to clean out the inbox. They did it for me. That's the way to do it. But even in that inbox that I use for real, like on my phone, I still get a lot of junk. And Apple has this really cool app uh, feature built into the app where the email comes in from a contact list. It gives you the option at the top to unsubscribe from there. Instead of having to go through all these steps like we used to down in the fine print of the email and miss some checkbox somewhere and still stuck on the list, it's easy, right? It's just one click and you're done. My girls are notorious for not cleaning out their inboxes. I think Kaylin had almost 4,000 unread emails in her inbox, and it was even slowing down her laptop for school. Now, as I was cleaning out my inbox this weekend on my phone and kept hitting that unsubscribe button, I realized just how useful something like that would be in our lives as well. Could you imagine how great it would be if something that was taking up so much of your time and energy with very little reward could just be gone with a simple click of a button? I know Staples made the easy button as a marketing piece a few years back. I used to have one in my office, actually. But I think an unsubscribe button for life might be the next big thing. And you know, if it happens, you heard it here first. So instead of having time for family and friends, we're caught up in the busyness of life. And we oftentimes, the things that require the most from us actually give us the least back. Imagine the impact we could have in this world for Jesus if we were just able to get some stuff out of the inbox of our life and focus on the things that are truly meaningful. It would be amazing, all right? The struggle isn't new. The clutter of life has long hurt the efficiency of kingdom work. So look at what we read in Ephesians 5, 15 through 17. It says, look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise, making the best use of the time because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. When we run around captive to our busyness, we we feel very important, right? Because of all the meetings and the fact that people need our time and need our energy. Guys, we're not being wise in those moments. No one's impressed with that. Wisdom is knowing what is the most important and putting a priority on that item instead of spreading your effort and your energy all over the place and not really doing a good job of anything. Understanding what God's will is for our life and then making sure that all of our priorities, our calendar events, and our family schedules support that thing That is going to make us wise, effective, and and a whole lot less cluttered in our lives. It's like we can look through the emails, find the one that's the most important, and then just hit a mass unsubscribe button on the rest of the things in our life that are just making our schedules busy. You know, Jesus gives us some guidance on this in Matthew 6 when he says, But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. You know, instead of worrying about what we're to drink or what we're to eat or what we're to wear— Jesus says, you know, if, we just, if you just seek God's kingdom first, our loving Father will provide our every need in his perfect way. I've heard that passage so many times in my life, and yet my calendar and my life continually get consumed with busyness, right? I do a good job of cleaning the thing out every now and then, getting the inbox pared down in and, and my life, and unsubscribing from the busyness, only to find that stuff pop right back up a few days, a few weeks later, and I'm back where I started. I want to encourage you guys this week to take a good look at your schedule. Find the things that are supporting God's will in your life and hold on to those things, right? Save those. And then find the things that are just junk mail, the things that are slowing you down, and find a way to unsubscribe from those time drainers and see how your kingdom impact is going to grow. Guys, I hope you have a great rest of your week. We'll see you real soon.